Okie dokie, here we are. I got everything all cleaned up, patched up, glued on, and I did a yellow wash. I did some veining and I did a little bit of a blue wash um, on limbs too. Let me grab them for you. Ta -da. And um, now I'm going to bake that baby up and get to the next step. Hello everyone. I'm checking in again with another layer of color. It doesn't look much different. It's going on pretty subtle. And I think because I pounced on a bunch of really pale layers to try to blend in when I was um, trying to do the ears, and so it's gonna take a little time to build up, I noticed that with baking this several times that the nose was becoming a little bit fragile and um, yeah, that's, that's a little sad. Uh, little hands. You can see that the color's working a little bit better on limbs because I didn't um, pale these up as much as I did the face. But I'm just gonna keep going. I, I just wanna, I wanna see it through and see what happens. And I'm not gonna worry about what's going on with this nose or these ears. Because so I added another layer to this baby. Not sure how well you can see it again. When you're, um, even if you're doing a fantasy baby, all your layers are pretty subtle. What I added were was some salmon, this color, kind of hot color, um, to cheeks and highlight areas up here, uh, chin, lips, cheeks. And I used a little bit of this lavender. I guess it's not really lavender. It's kind of like a dirty, rosy lavender color. Um, just inside eyes, just to add a little bit more depth and recreased some spots. And I really went to town on these feet. This is one of those babies that had super shiny feet. And so it wasn't taking up the paint for blushing. So it just took more layers. And again, I'm doing this baby mostly like I would do a regular reborn. I'm just being a little bit more loud with the paint. Um, I'm not being shy about color. I put some salmon on those knees. And hands, same thing. I went a little a little color happy on those hands and I kind of like them. I think what I'm gonna do, and I'm just doing this organically, I'm just going along and just painting for fun. I've got nothing to lose. That's the beauty of doing this. And especially when you're doing a fantasy doll, there, um, there's a lot more wiggle room for color and, and fun. What I think I'm gonna do now is put on a flesh layer because this baby is super pale. And the color I'm gonna use is this, and let me show it to you. It's kind of a, it looks like chocolate milk. It's a little bit um, more gray than creamy. And I'm looking for a sponge, sorry. And that's because I, um, I don't want a lot of yellow on that baby right now. I'm gonna actually add some yellow later and highlight with some yellow but for right now what I want to do is tone down all the modeling that I did try to take down some of that super pale wash that I put on there in the beginning I'm gonna just kind of talk again about that when I was trying to put the pale on the ears I was trying to feather it out and get it to match the face and slowly make all the colors be a little bit more um, alike and what happened is I ended up just really making this baby kind of powdery and pale and the paint just isn't looking good so I'm trying to do a little bit of damage control and get rid of some of that pale color and that just means more layers you know don't freak out here's the deal Everybody's gonna have a baby that they're gonna toss in the garbage. I know the thought of that is creepy because it looks like a baby. Secondly, because I know how much money is spent on that sculpt and the idea of just tossing it away makes you wanna cry. Um, there are some dolls that you're gonna paint and paint and paint and strip and paint and finally just say, you know what, I've had enough. And um, it's actually kind of a, a good feeling once you just say, okay, I'm gonna go and do something else. But if you're just in the beginning stages where you're just about to give up and you really haven't tried all the things that you need to try, remember that you can add another layer. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding some more. Hey, at the end of the day, this might, this might just be an absolute disaster. You know, these ears might fall off. This paint might not look good. The acrylic might not stick. 
There's a million things that can go wrong and mess up all of this effort. But the cool thing is, well, for me, the cool thing about making art, it's not so much what you get when you're all done, even though that is super exciting, especially when it works. The cool thing is just like, and I don't mean to sound cheesy, you know, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Yeah, actually it sort of is. Because you're playing and you're learning so much. It's, it's fun. I mean, it is supposed to be fun and it's exciting. And um, even if this doll goes in the trash, I've learned 20 things that are gonna help me make the next baby. So it's kind of like doll school. And I think that's kind of looking better already. But we're just gonna paint, paint, paint. I think I'm going to um, put two layers of flesh of this color on the baby. Hopefully he doesn't get too chalky looking, that's my hope. And then I'm gonna go through and just play with some bright colors and um, and just goof off. He's, he's an elf fairy baby, he's a fantasy baby. Um, you have a lot of a lot of opportunity to play, but I do want that um, underlying realism to stay. I pinked up his head and um, pinked up his cheeks with some salmon and some lavender mixed together, and I added lots of yellow. Um, I don't know why. I just thought it would look good. It's all wet and it's still flashing off. And then for arms, I am do doing the same thing. I just made like a yellow wash and I just washed the tops of the hands and just, you know, a little bit around. And I'm just pushing that in there. Again, remember, this is a fantasy baby. So even though we're keeping some of the realism, we're also adding some color that you probably normally wouldn't find in um, a normal reborn baby. So here we go. I'm just going to pat this out. I'm doing another flesh layer over that. And I realize that I haven't flashed off that other color. And that's because I'm just blending all those colors together. I probably wouldn't use that move on a baby that I was working on that was an actual real born. Um, because I wouldn't want to risk muddying up the paint. But with this baby, I'm just playing and having fun and seeing what happens. So... There we go. I'll give you a close-up of that hand so you can see that um, there's lots of yellow, there's lots of pink, there's lots of salmon. Feeling like I'm gonna do one more flesh bake and then I'm gonna start the acrylic. Here we are. I'm starting to put on some acrylic on the epoxy. All I'm using is Liquitex acrylic and hopefully that'll be okay. Um, I have no idea. It seemed to work when I did the avatar. Um, that with a little bit of matte varnish seemed to be okay. The matte varnish I'm gonna use this time is, where is it? There it is. I'm just gonna use Liquitex um, just because I have it. And if it's too shiny, I always can go out and spray Mr. Super Clear, which is probably what I should have done before I started painting. I'm gonna let this ears and nose dry. And if it looks like it's getting weird and flaky, I may, I don't know. I may take it off and then go back and Mr. Super Clear it. I did, wasn't even thinking that I should have put that on first and used it as kind of like a primer. Um, just putting it straight on there. I can't imagine that it wouldn't stick. And then, um, you know, you can put a, put a varnish over. The only thing I'm not happy with is that the paint is going on pretty thick and um, I just don't want to see that texture. Yeah, that's working. It just kind of mats it up and takes off those, um, those brush strokes a little bit. So, you know, just to be on the safe side, I think I will, after this dry, go out and just put a little bit of um, varnish on it so it doesn't come off. Again, I may have gotten a little too pale. We'll see. I'll just have to play by ear. Put another coat on there. That gray is strong and coming through. 
and then I'll just sponge it. The face, I, I really want to be careful not to have brush strokes on. Oop, look what happened. I hit it with my nail and that's what's happening. So, yep, I think I'm gonna take this off and go Mr. Super Clear it. Who thought that making a little tiny elf was gonna be so hard? That's okay, it'll be worth hey. it in the end. We have been through a lot with this little baby. I mean, a lot. And uh, it's, it's starting to get annoying, but I think it'll turn out okay. I went ahead and sprayed this baby with primer, not primer, um, varnish, with a matte varnish just where the ears and the nose were so that when I added the acrylic paint to the epoxy it would stick. This isn't going to be a perfect match but um, really all I'm trying to do is to tone down the um, the gray so that I can I think I'm actually gonna pink these ears I think I'm gonna pink the ears and the nose so really what I'm doing is just toning down and I think I over thinned this paint but um, yeah, so I'm, I think I'm just gonna do one single layer of this kind of nude beigey color. I'm gonna feather it out a little bit, meaning that I don't wanna have a hard line that says this is where this paint started and this is where it stopped. I want it to look like, you know, it had, this baby has blushing ears and a blushing nose. So it's not the nicest, neatest paint job, but it'll do and I'm gonna get a sponge and I'm using a brush that I don't use for reborn paint, and I'm gonna use a sponge that I won't use again for Genesis. Once I'm done with this, I'll probably toss it. I don't wanna mix the two up. And it seems to be adhering okay. Yay, that's great. So I'm just patting on some paint. Probably just leave it like that. It's not, you know, full coverage. It's not super tidy, but it um, it's taking a little bit of that gray down, which was what my intention was. And then as soon as this is all dried, I'll tidy it up a little bit with a Q-tip. And then, where are my Q-tips? There they are. I moved everything around on my table. Can't find anything. Um, I'll tidy it all up and then I will start I'm blushing it with a little bit of pink and see if I can't get those ears nice okay. and pink. So I mixed up a little bit of pink using that flesh tone and some, what is the name of this color? Ladybug Red. It's got a lot of magenta in it and I thought it would look good, but I'm not sure. And now that I'm painting the nose, I'm seeing, you, I'm seeing that you can see where the epoxy was added to the nose and I'm not real happy about that. I'm not giving up because I think this will still be a cool baby. So I'm just painting the ear. I'm not painting the whole ear. I'm just painting over the, um, the nude color and pinking it up. It's gonna take a couple of, of layers and it is not subtle nor is it smooth and uh, I don't know. I'm starting to get a little bit bummed out, but I'm trying not to because I know that sometimes it's it's easy to give up too early and I'm not giving up. I'm not a give up girl. We're just gonna make this work somehow. It's kind of a sloppy little job here, but again, I'm gonna go through with a, a wet Q-tip and clean it all up and feather it out a bit. But I just wanted to get some of that pink on there. And again, you know, I think it's just like painting a picture. You just play play with some of that and blend it and push those colors around and see what you get. But so far, not digging it completely. But we got a little ways to go. And I think I'm gonna put some freckles on this baby. I have this feeling too. But I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna add another layer of matte medium and um, let it sit up. And then I will just kind of blend paint, probably go a little darker at the tips of the ears and uh, just goof around and see what happens. <laughs> 